the Las Vegas Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach and showtime pay-per-view. And now, ladies and gentlemen, first, please welcome to the stage the two-division UFC champion of the world,
we invite to the scale MMA's undisputed top attraction, the hard hitting and widely popular two division UFC champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. Thank you very much. He looks like Dolce. You know that. He looks blown out. Full of water. He's not going to keep my pace. Trust me on that. That's the worst shape I've ever seen him. You had a lot to say there on that face off. What were you telling him? That's the worst shape I've ever seen him. He looks blown out. Out of shape. I'm going to breathe through him. Trust me on that.
There was a lot of talk about you having trouble making weight, and you did not. 150 How tough was it? 153. I'm a professional. I make weight. It's sacrifice, it's dedication, it's focus, but I make it. And that's it. Look at me, I'm, I'm in peak physical condition. I put in the work as everyone can tell. I'm ready. What will you come into the ring weighing tomorrow night? Do you have an idea? A lot bigger. A lot bigger than him. 170? I'd say close to 170, yes. What do you make of the fact that this crowd here seems to be predominantly for you? It's the same. You'll never be the oldest. And that's it. You can't be us. We roll in and we take over whatever we want. Las Vegas is Ireland now. He said to you at the press conference in boxing, not only do you have to be able to give it, you have to be able to take it. Are you convinced in a boxing match? I'll you stop will be my able foot. I'll stop my foot right in the center of that ring. I won't go nowhere other than the center of that ring. So let's go, let's see who can take it. He's over there twiddling his thumbs, twitching away. I see a man afraid. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Connor, thank you. Best of luck for talking to you. Thank you. Let's walk across the way and come on over and talk to Floyd and Money Mayweather. As he finishes lacing up his shoes, Floyd, he had a lot to say to you there, and you just remained poised and calm and quiet. Uh, well, Is it tough to stay quiet? I've been here before. I know what it takes when it's a fight of this magnitude. So, I did a lot of this, he did a lot of this, but tomorrow it comes down to the fighters. 149 pounds. You had six more pounds that you could have taken, but you elected not to. Why come in at this weight? Because Particularly when you know he's going to be 170 tomorrow night. Weight doesn't win fights. Fighting wins fights. You said the other day, you got to give it, but you also got to be able to take it. Now that all the talk is done, do you believe in your heart that you'll be able to take it? It won't go the distance. Mark my world. This was the last time in your life that you will ever have to get on a scale. Has that set in, and what role does that play that this will be your final fight? I just want to thank the fans. I'm not really worried about the scale or the last time. This will be Conor McGregor's last fight also. Does it bother you that you're here at home, and there's all these fans who've come from wherever they've come from, seemingly, for Conor? The fans can't fight for you. It comes down to the two competitors. The fans cannot fight for you. 49 times I went out there, it was one-on-one. -on -one. All right, we look forward to tomorrow night. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, Mr. Upstairs to you.